Hey guys, I'm Molly Sims. I'm so happy to be back with the Everyday Supermodel. Kim Nonstop, she is an amazing um, person, amazing YouTuber, um, soul cycle master instructor. We're talking about high intensity interval circuit training. Um, she's my go-to gal and I wanted to, to interview, introduce you guys to her. She is all things fun and fitness. And fitness. And we write a lot in the book, a whole chapter on fitness, and we kind of share a little bit of the same things. Kim is just returned from the amazing race. If you guys missed her, she was phenomenal on it. Um, Which, by the way, we ate so many carbs while we were on the race. We were just talking about this. Okay, let's talk about. Okay, so protein and carbs. <laughs> Clearly more protein than carbs. Clearly more protein than carbs is the ideal for most women who are trying to stay lean and in shape. Um, the problem was when we were traveling around the world, it is really hard to get your hands on like some broccoli or kale. I know. So So if you if if you had one day eat healthy or work out? Uh work out for me. Work out for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Do you do the same things every day? No, I switch it up every day. Give me an average day. An average, we'll see. Give me an average week. <laughs> an average week, let's Really see. quickly, let's okay. break it down, Kim, nonstop. So I do SoulCycle quite often because I work for SoulCycle. I teach co constantly, probably about eight classes a week. 45 minute classes? 45 minute classes, so I usually do a double, so for me it's a 90 minute cardio session. And I'll do that, you know, at least every other day. Okay, least. I just want to, just want to interrupt one second. I have to ask you because I'm me and Go it's something it. I worry about. If you do soul cycle every day or if you do spinning every day, I will, know what it, you're gonna ask. will it make your legs bigger? I knew she was going to ask know, that. I know, but I have to. It's like, <laughs> I, you know, I do not have naturally thin thighs, people. Um, I don't know. I think mine are the same size as before I started doing all the soul cycle. So <laughs> like ripped. this really depends on the individual and I sell people I would say for the m majority of people that walk into soul cycle the average person the average consumer they are going to lose weight they're going to get smaller they're going to shrink cuz cardio shrinks your body however sweat you sweat are, more sweat yeah however you are working um your legs and so if you didn't have muscle there prior you're gonna gain some muscle, which means you might see some size. So if I see someone walk in who is stick thin, stick thin, no muscle in their body, I'll tell them, yeah, your legs are gonna get bigger. Okay, so give me an average week, soul cycle on a Monday. So soul cycle would be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. And then in between, I'm shooting my videos for my channel, so I do high intensity interval training. How long? So um, 10 most minutes, 15 minutes? 15 minutes usually, a 15 to 20 minute uh, to shoot them because you guys don't see this on a lot of these videos, but we do it all like when you're doing that workout video You take like three takes I know. so when I'm like ow ow my glutes, you know That's because I'm doing it for like the hundredth time even though you're seeing it for 20 times, but um, yeah about 15, so 15 to 20 minutes, minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the best advice you could give someone to keep motivated? To maintain or even to get leaner, to see results in the new year, I say try something new, something you're excited about. If you're not excited to go do your workout, you need to find something else to do okay. because you need to enjoy it. If you're not going to enjoy it, why would you continue doing it? Right. You're going to find a way out. You're going to find an excuse. You have to find that thing that you like. Uh, for me, it was cycling, and I didn't find it until my mid twenties. So, so if someone, so if someone said, okay, if they need to commit, how many days do you commit to exercise a week? It all depends on where your starting line is. So say you want to drop twenty pounds. You want to drop twenty pounds, and you're already working out six days a week. Then we're going to have a different prescription for you, right? Maybe you need to look at your diet. We don't need to look at your workouts. If you're not working out at all, and you need to lose twenty pounds. You just getting off the couch three days a week is probably going to make a huge difference. So, so it all explain, is about it, where you start. It, it's where you start. And you don't have to start so high intense. It doesn't have to be oh, yeah. six days a week at 1,200 calories a day. Yeah. Start, I, you know, after the baby, I don't work out every single day. No, nor should you. three days a week. Yeah. I, you know, I'm still breastfeeding if I can. So 
it's it's all where you are. Exactly. Having a partner do it with you, how important? So important. That was the second thing I was going to get to is accountability. You need to find someone that is waiting for you, like a trainer or a friend or a teacher that knows your name even, or a studio that has your name on a list and is expecting you to show up that day. Whatever it is, you need some kind of accountability that isn't just your own because we'll always find a way out of it. <laughs> <laughs> cheat day or no cheat days and how many out of seven days? Okay, cheat days are a thing with me. I don't really do cheat days because I enjoy healthy food. I enjoy eating healthy and I don't really uh, deny myself things that I want to eat. It's all in moderation. If you have trouble with moderation or like you can't just eat a piece of chocolate, you have to eat the whole chocolate bar, right. well then you're the kind of person who needs a cheat day. If you had to lose five pounds really quickly, how would you do it healthy? How would I do it healthy? Well, for me, I take the things that I, I tend to allow myself, like the lenient foods, um, mostly carbs, and I cut down my carbs to around 100 to 200 a day, depending on how much cardio I'm doing. So if I'm teaching a lot, I allow myself more, but 100 to 200 grams a day, did I say calories? You say calories. I, whoops. That's okay. 100 to 200 grams of, of carbohydrates a day um, when I'm trying to lean out, like really cut back on those carbohydrates. Last question, um, plant-based, meatless Mondays, one day, totally vegan or vegetarian, what do you think? I recently, I haven't even announced this to my channel yet, that I recently started going vegetarian again. Um, really? Which is interesting because just two months ago I posted what I eat every day and it involved chicken and fish. Um, I'm struggling with it. I'm being totally honest. I struggle with it. Uh, uh, meat so hard. for most of my training and racing days have, have involved lean proteins. Um, but I'm learning more as I'm forcing myself to through like brown rice protein and other types of protein out there. However, um, I do mostly eat vegetables and, you know, I try to stay away from soy proteins. Me too. Uh, so from there, you know, take it as you will. I'm not advocating one or the other, but um, definitely mostly like fresh fruits and vegetables and then lean protein sources, whatever your preference is. I love it. Kim nonstop, make sure and check out her channel. She's awesome. You're going to learn so many tips, so many tricks on keeping lean, keeping mean. And keeping it fun. And keeping it fun. So I love your channel because you are fun <laughs> and you make exercise, you know, not seem like such a daunting process. It's not. It's and fun. I know. And it gets the endorphins moving. Oh, it clears your head. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for checking out my channel. Just remember, everyday supermodel. Bye bye.